hopefully we have fun at this. Dad, what, bud? Can we go exploring outside? What do you want to go exploring for? Trail bites. Ooh, this is gonna be a road trip. We like those, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can go, but let's talk a little bit more about what trilobites are and how to work the rocks so we kind of know what we're doing and we might learn something. Hopefully you enjoy this journey with us and then you might hit the like and subscribe buttons and then you'll come on more adventures with us. Okay bud, trilobites are these ancient bug-like creatures that were old, old, old arthropods. Some of the more current descendants of arthropods are some sea spiders and some horseshoe crabs, shrimps, anything that has like a hard exoskeleton that would have to shed it as it grew bigger and bigger. So, come look at this. This is a trilobite on the rock. There's many times where the bugs are a little harder than some of the host rock themselves so they will pop off and stay as that. We have the left lobe, the center lobe, and the right lobe. Then we have the head, the middle or the thorax, and then the tail or the pagetum. You have three lobes this way and three lobes this way. Now you can see quite a few distinct sections. There's this cheek, that cheek, the head, the center, the tail. These, as they grew bigger and bigger, they had to pop off their cheeks and their head and pretty well grow out of the harder old exoskeleton. And more about the time period for the trilobites. Trilobites are all extinct now, but they lived a long, long, long time ago. Now during this Paleozoic era, we had many different time periods from the Cambrian and the Ordovician, Slurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, and the Permian time periods. And in each of those, we had different series or epochs, which just break those down more. But we'll, we won't worry about that for now. Starting at the Cambrian time period. So the early Cambrian started about 542 million years, and it lasted until 488 million years ago. Following up behind the Cambrian, we had the Ordovician time period, which lasted from 488 to 444 million years. Silurian time period from 444 million years to 415 million years ago. Following the Silurian, we had the Devonium from 416 to 359 million years, and the Carboniferous from 359 to 299 million. And lastly, we ended this era with the Permian time period from 299 million years to 241 million years. And most time periods ended in an extinction of some sort or another. Many different creatures didn't survive through this time period and others sparked up in this one. And at the end of the Permian time period, we had a mass extinction that ended the lifeline of the trilobites. And this was known as the Paleozoic Era. Following the Paleozoic Era, we had the Mesozoic, which was from 251 million years to 65 million years old. Now that is where the dinosaurs roamed. Maybe another video about that. Now overall, the whole Paleozoic Era is marked from about 542 million to 241 million years. That's a long time. And each time period between there, you had many different world catastrophes and changes which caused other creatures to need to adapt and evolve if they wanted to stay around. And throughout that, we ended up with about 20,000 different species of trilobites worldwide. And there's almost 500 different species just here in Utah alone. Some of those species are a little more rare than others. Some of them had hard shells, some were soft shells, some were big, some were small. I mean, just crazy changes and just so many different types. Keep some of that straight. We have books and online references to help us figure out which species they are. I'll reference a lot of the books in the description below. Some trilobites were predators, some were scavengers, some were bottom... It just kind of, you had a little bit of everything. So more about the fossilization process itself. Sometimes you had a creature or an object 
such as animals and plants, that would get buried. Now whether it was the plants or the animals that were sitting in the ground or at the bottom of the lake, they would get covered by sand and rock and other stuff. And then once they were buried, some of those minerals would leach in, whether they were dissolved by water or just heat and pressure, and they would get pushed into the object itself. So in this case, let's say you had the plant, you'd have irons and calciums and other stuff seeping into the plant and replacing it with those minerals. Something else that's pretty cool about trilobites is they're what's considered an index fossil and they are in specific time layers all around the world. So wherever you go, there are different types, different species, different areas where you can find trilobites. And in our case, we'll be floating around here in Utah and there are trilobites throughout most of Utah if you know where to go but we'll be floating around down here in most of this area around Swayze if you come in you see here's the water spigot that we'll go to right there and then just water pooling there for some of the cattle and the sheep so we'll be coming up on this road and if we stayed on that road we would come up to you dig now I've never been to Udig, but it would be kind of a fun little place to go explore. But there's shell all over here. I mean, there's shell pretty well all throughout this whole West Desert area. Some have trilobites, some have ammonites. Some areas where you'll find just tons of fossils, other areas where you won't find any fossils. I mean, there was millions and millions of years where creatures didn't exist. So you just gotta get out and do some exploring. All right, bud, you ready to go exploring? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's get this show on the road. Just topped off on gas, drinks and food. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready to go on the road. Chocolate milk is better than a road trip. <laughs> All right. If we stayed going straight down this road, we would end up on you, Dick. So here we are, just pulled into the water to pick it. It is nice to wash the dust off of you, which we'll swing by later today after we're done. But nice little bit of water to cool down off. Ooh. Now let's get down the road to where we're gonna go. A few moments later. All right, so we pulled in, set the canopy up. There's all this shell rock. Pick a spot, start digging. Some are good, some aren't. This spot's been pretty good for us in the past, so that's where we'll be playing. So we need to start by taking off all the eroded uh, overburden. Then we'll get into some good shell and see what we find. Okay, now that we're here, it's pretty well just all this shell rock we're looking at. And we have lots of this hillside and tons of this stuff that is broken down. So we're gonna take the top layer off and start getting into the stuff that's less broken down and less eroded and see what we find.
there's one. Max and I are gonna bust up into this bottom. Try to maybe work the wall just a little bit more and a little bit of the wall behind Max. some pieces on this bottom there. Nothing too crazy. Do we do to sweep over here? Sweep by Maxi.
around in a big circle. All right, ready? Yep, do it. Hopefully, at least one. Watch out. Nope, no, I don't see any. Got a bit of one here. Thank you. 